Okay, this is the worksheet to solve problem number one, and we're given the angle C of 71 degrees, we're given the angle B at 28 degrees, and side A at 15. Now, in order to do the law of sines, it's best to have an angle side pair. So all we need to do is add up the th two angles that we have, and then subtract them from 180 degrees. And what we'll do is we'll get angle A, and we'll do it 180 minus 28 minus 71 is 81 degrees. So now we have an angle and it's paired side A. So we want to find the other two sides, B and C. So what are we going to do? We're going to use the law of sines. And since what we're doing is we're trying to find a side, we'll set up the proportions this way. A is the sine A, is B is the sine B. Here in this case, that's 15 divided by the sine of 81 degrees. That's to B uh, as to the sine of 28 degrees. We'll multiply both sides by the sine of 28 degrees, effectively bringing this up to this numerator here. And we'll get 15 times the sine of 28 degrees divided by the sine of 81 degrees is equal to B. And I've already done the calculations once, and that's 7.1. Now, to find side C, we'll use essentially the same proportion, but I don't want to key all of this in again. What I want to do is use the calculator and have it just remember what I've done and easily just incorporate this angle here, 71 degrees, into my calculations. So to do that in the calculator, we'll bring it over. Okay, here's the calculator. And I already have, it's a little bright, let's do it that way. I already have it set up. So you can see I have the sign, 15 times the sign of 28 degrees, and that's divided by the sine of 81 degrees. Now, we, like I said, what we want to do is change the sine of 28 degrees to this, sine of 71 degrees. All we have to do in the calculator to use the cursor is go up to what we did before, hit Control and the letter C to copy it, come down to a new space, Control and V, as in Victor, for paste. I have it pasted. Now I can go over and edit and change the angle by hitting delete and delete from 28 to 71, come back out outside of the equation, hit enter, and I get my new problem and my new answer, which is 14.36 or 14.4. And that makes it a lot easier, 14. 0.36 rounds up to 14.4. So my sides are 7.1 and 14.4. Fill those in. This is equal to 14.4. And side B right here is 7.1. And I'm done with the problem. That's where I put the answers right at the top. 14.4 here for C. 7.1 for B, and I already had A. So last angle, angle A is 81 degrees. And there we are.